one friend's name. Oh, if that don't hit too close to home with someone on the spectrum, I really don't know what does. Um, for most of my life, I felt that way. I felt like I have no friends, no one to hang out with, no one to talk to, no one to really rely on, no support network at all. Sorry. Uh, but if the, And it's not like I haven't tried. I've tried reaching out. I've tried covering for people. It's just a lot of people that I've been around either fall into one or two camps. Either I think, A, they are people who are neurotypical and look down on me and think I'm less than, or B, there are people who are disabled and they're terrible at maintaining friendships. And it, and I have to basically light myself on fire to compensate for them until I get tired and burn myself out and give up. Like there was a person I thought was a friend, but I realize now he never really was. Like, I would reach out constantly and then I just got fed up and stopped trying as hard and we haven't really seen each other in like two or three years at this point. It's just, I, I can't, I can't cover for people. And, you know, it, and I'm going to be honest, like things might be somewhat changing. There's more online friends there that I have now and I do have a GF, but at the same time, it's like, um, a lot, you know, how much do I trust them? It's more recent, you know, I can't, and I've been hurt a lot. So there's that, like who, how can I really rely on anyone when I've been hurt? And a lot of these are newer. It's like, it takes time to get there. And there's also the fact that, uh, I'm trying to think. It's just like a lot of the time that I could have been used to bond is missed. You know, like a lot of people already have their friend circle and I'm just starting out now, so I'm going to miss out on a lot of things that a lot of people should have been involved in in my life. Like, in the 20s, I mean, grad parties, um, best men at weddings, stuff like that. I will never experience that because a lot of the people I know have discarded me and shoved me aside. And the new ones probably are either too recent or already know or, like, already have gotten married, so that's irrelevant. It's just a lot of things, like... A lot of things that a lot of people take for granted are missed out on, and a lot of the, and a lot of people don't get how bad it is for people on the spectrum or otherwise disabled to try and maintain these friendships. Because again, a lot of people look down on you, and even and even the ones who are your peers are so terrible at communicating a lot of the time that it's just not worth it. Like I love sending text messages and being repeatedly ignored. I love trying to make plans and they can't even get back to me in a week saying when they're free that week. This is real things that people have done to me multiple times. And then I try to talk about things that are important and they just dismiss me. They don't tell me what's going on in their life. It's just, and they never make plans. It's on me to do everything. And when I get burned out and I say, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of this 90, 90%, 10% relationship. You need to bump up your effort a bit. The waterworks come out. They never acknowledge that they're not trying hard enough, and they always try to blame me. I'm trying as hard as I can, so you know it's never going to improve. And a lot of people don't seem to see how big of a problem this is. So that means that no one puts any pressure on those people who are probably, in a lot of cases, being a little bit lazy. Like, you're really telling me that someone who plays video games all day couldn't get back a little bit faster than once every three days if they really wanted to. Uh, and... It, and they also don't allow you a shoulder to cry on because how are you supposed to talk to people who don't take it seriously? They always dismiss me and act like I'm the one who's at fault. If you'd only done this, it would be different. What else can I do when people are not replying to text messages? Am I, gonna, am I supposed to go to their house and say, you reply to my message? Short of that, which is completely illegal and seems like an abusive relationship, I really don't see how I can make them do things that they're, they don't want to do or they don't feel like doing. And it also goes against a lot of what a lot of people say, you can't change anyone. Well, that's a problem when the other people are the problem in this. Like, again, I, I don't know what it's like to be part of a group of friends. I don't know what it's like to have people respond to messages every day. And I don't know if I ever will because I don't know what to do to change it. A lot of people have relationships established and no one takes it seriously and is willing to give even the slightest bit of effort to help me break through this ridiculous regime. So take it seriously. And if you're on this, if you are one of those people, disabled or not, who is too lazy to reply and lets messages go by the wayside, do better. It ain't that hard to take five seconds to reply to text messages. And if you act like it is, that sounds like a you problem that you need to get over.